Although wild boar was once a delicacy reserved for Europe's elite, we seem to hear more lately about the utter chaos this animal can create. The 1974 case of Marshall v. Rainey is one example. In this Texas case, we examined the assumption of risk doctrine in the context of a boar gone bad. Paul Marshall owned a hog farm in Van Zandt County, Texas, about 65 miles away from his home in Dallas. John Rainey had a neighboring farm from which one particular boar would regularly escape to Marshall's property. Though no injuries were previously sustained, Marshall knew the boar was dangerous because it had charged and attacked him and his wife on several occasions. On January 21, 1970, after Marshall had put some bread out for his hogs, he spotted the boar behind his barn. The boar remained about 100 yards behind the barn without coming closer, so Marshall proceeded inside the house to prepare for his return home to Dallas. After scanning for the boar, Marshall quickly left the house and headed toward his pickup. When he was about 30 feet from his truck, he first heard, then saw, the boar charging toward him from behind. Marshall put his hand out to defend himself, and the boar bit and severely injured it. His damages totaled a little over $4,000. Marshall sued Rainey in trial court for his injuries. The jury found that Rainey was not liable for several reasons. One of those reasons was that Marshall's own negligence contributed to his injuries. Another reason was that Marshall voluntarily assumed the risk of injury by the boar, which he knew to be dangerous, when he headed to his truck. Thus, the trial court found that both contributory negligence and assumption of the risk applied. The appellate court agreed and affirmed the trial court's determination. Marshall appealed to the state Supreme Court.